What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly, easily, and naturally get rid of spider mite infestations on your fruit trees. It's very important to check your fruit trees over for spider mite infestations in early spring because the mites are active this time of year, but the predatory insects that control them during the growing season are not yet active. One of my citrus trees has a spider mite infestation. The mottled pattern of the leaves is a dead giveaway, and you can see all of the red spider mite bodies on the front side of the leaves and when you flip them over, there's even more of them crawling everywhere along the undersides of the trees. And we have to take care of this problem before it gets worse. We're going to use wettable sulfur powder to eradicate our mites. Now, I was able to find this at Lowe's two seasons ago, but it's really hard to find at big box stores. So to make things easy, I'm going to drop a link down in the video description for an organic product that is very similar if you need help finding this. Wettable sulfur powder controls powdery mildew, rust, scab, mites, and a number of other products problems and is safe for use on a variety of different plants. You must consult the instructions before using sulfur powder because sulfur can be reactive and can burn your leaves if not used properly. You cannot use sulfur powder when temperatures in the shade exceed 85 to 90 degrees, you can't mix it with anything oil-based, and you shouldn't even spray it on plants that have been treated with oils recently. Always consult the instructions for concentrations because how much you use is going to depend on what you're growing. We are going to follow the citrus instructions, which instruct two tablespoons per gallon of water as the mix. Per the instructions, we are going to pre-mix the recommended dosage of the powder with a little bit of water and we are going to combine it until it forms a homogeneous paste. Once the paste is homogeneous, we are then going to add it to a pump sprayer and add the recommended amount of water. Once the appropriate mix is made, we are going to spray down our fruit trees liberally, especially making sure to coat the undersides of all of the leaves because that is usually where most of the mites hide. It's best to apply these sprays when approaching sunset because you will minimize the chance of any of the leaves burning from the sulfur spray contacting very strong hot sunlight and also you minimize the chances of spraying any pollinators because pollinators go away after sunset for the most part. After 48 hours spray down your tree with a hose at a pretty powerful stream to try and remove all of that sulfur spray as well as the dead mite bodies. It will be very difficult to tell the difference between dead mite bodies and living mite bodies so you want to clean off all the leaves so you don't get them confused. Inspect the tree after seven days and make sure that there are no more spider mites. You probably will want to provide one more repeat application, so consult the instructions to find out what the repeat application intervals are. Most are 7 to 10 days, but read the package because it may vary. Most spider mite infestations can be controlled after two applications. However, check your tree over because you may need a third application if you have a very bad infestation. And that's today's 2-Minute Garden Tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.